fast treatment. By fast treatment we mean the ability to view the events in the event list, check more details of the event and execute the event handling commands directly from the event list or event details. This is the most straightforward method of handling an event. The starting point is any situation in the system manager, but also in event handling. The first alarm we trigger is a simple one, the frost protection alarm. As can be observed here in the summary bar, simple alarms do not generate flashing lamps since they do not need to be processed. For the fast treatment we switch to event handling and select the alarm we want to treat in the event list. In event list, each individual row contains all the details about an event, for example, event icon, cause, state, and so on. The columns that displayed in the event row and their order may vary depending on column customization. The Customize Columns feature allows us to hide or make hidden properties visible and change the appearance order. For demonstration purposes we hide the timer, make the commands visible, and change the order of appearance for source before date, time, and finally apply. The event details shows us, besides the information in the event list, even more details, like backnet priority, event state, info popover, but also the possibility to treat the alarm. As you know, our simple alarm does not need to be processed, therefore no treatment steps are enabled. Furthermore, the event details gives us the possibility to inspect the event source by clicking on this icon. The object in alarm appears selected in system browser, as can be seen here. Let's go back to the event handling and continue with the treatment. The information of the event state shows that is waiting to be resolved. By clicking again on the frost alarm, we fix the frost protection issue in our demo project, which results in the disappearance of the event in the summary bar and event list. In the next demo, we will cover the following functions at once basic and advanced alarm handling and we will experience the override functions of the low event category in the notifications. We trigger an intrusion alarm. And before we silence the buzzer, we could hear the low category event sound. At the bottom right we can see the toast message, also generated by the low category, which we close manually. Further. In the summary bar two flashing events are visible. In both cases, one event and one unprocessed event. We switch to event handling and select the top event to be able to inspect the event source. In the graphic we can see the broken window, but also that for security reasons, as a result, the front door was blocked. This explains the second event of the blocked door in the low category. Back to event handling, both events have acknowledgement as the next step. We can now execute a multi-selection and acknowledge both events with one step in the event details. The event lamps will now stop blinking, change to a solid white background, and show no unprocessed but still active events. Both event states information shows that are waiting to be resolved. We switch to the system manager and fix the intrusion alarm. We get a toast message again telling us that the event has changed back to normal. The summary bar shows us that the alarm with a low category, due to the blocked door, is resolved because it is a basic alarm and is handled with an acknowledgement. However, we still have an active alarm in the danger category. In the event details we can see that the source state has changed to quiet, and the event is ready to be reset. This is the usual last step for an extended event type. When resetting, the event disappears from the event list and the summary bar. We end this topic and proceed to the investigative treatment.